Alright, here's a very quick tutorial on sampling with Reason 3.0 and Recycle. This is one of about a dozen ways that you can do it. Uh, I'm going to start with picking a MP3. The one that I chose, I'll open it up and recycle for you. It's Carl Thomas Emotional. I don't know why Carl Thomas didn't call me. To I would have laid down the backing vocals or something on this. Every single day. Live without your smile. Alright, that's, that's the song or the sample that I chose. So basically what you need to do, if it's an MP3 format, you convert it to WAV format. That's the program right there that I used to convert it to WAV format in. Once it's converted to WAV format, you can open it up and recycle. When you have it in recycle, and I'm going to select it right there, you can, you see it loading all the, all the frames there. I'm not going to get into recycle, that's what the manual's for, but if you have any questions, hit me up at surflex10 at yahoo.com. Uh, if you move this slider, then it chops it up automatically for you. Some people like to do it manually. Some people start it automatically and then do it manually from there. That's what I do. That's a chop. When you finish chopping it, um, just for this example, I'm going to put one bar. And you can save it either in sound file form or you can save it as a, R, a rex file. After you save it to a rex file or sound file, whatever you want to do, it, well, I export mine to the desktop. And there you see, that's the rex file that I chopped up earlier. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open Reason. And I'm going to import that Rex file into Reason. I'm going to use the NNXT. I like the NNXT over the um, over uh, Doctor Rex because, in my opinion, the NNXT gives you more more options. Um, you can increase or decrease the release time of the slice and not the entire sample. You could change the root key. That's basically time stretching right there. Some people say you can't time stretch in um in reason you can but it's limited so let's go ahead and load that uh sample or rex file into the nnxt now whatever it's ready and on this one man i was fooling around earlier and i took that one song and i found like i think five songs that i could have made out of the one song hip-hop of course um, for this example I'm not gonna put any drums or anything or strings or anything over it but I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to take a song and take a loop out of that song and sample with it some people look down on loop based producers but um, Kanye's one <laughs> right now I'm pressing the keys but I have no idea what slice I'm sampling until I select this button right here that says select zone via MIDI. Now, it shows me what key I have. Okay, this is the start of this, this is the first slice in the sample. See how I'm pressing those first three buttons? And this is an example of taking a loop and just altering the pitch, throwing some drums over it, and bam, you got a song in like 10 minutes. 
what trap is that? That's the twelfth trap. I can take that twelfth trap and just change the pitch a little. Uh, increase the release time so it won't sound like I'm playing it. Oh. It's off, but you get the point. You get the point. Let me see if I can find something else. Sitting here. I like that. Just pressing the MIDI keyboard. That sounds like a song right there. Now, once you have something like that, um, you know, you can edit it, you could add some reverb on it. You can EQ it. You're probably going to have to EQ it for it to sound like anything. Alright, you get the point. Let's see what else we got. Let's work with some more slices. You can do something with that slice. And like I said, <clears throat> this is taking a whole loop and just, just like taking four beats out of the loop and making a beat. Some people look down on that. Some people like to just chop it up beyond recognition. Like if Carl Thomas heard his own beat, he'd be like, I don't know, I never heard that before. Some people like chopping it up like that. Some people do it the sample way. I mean, you can do both, but this is sample based loop and it's like taking four bars, not four bars, but four beats and just looping that beat and making something completely different out of that song. Here's another one. You get the point. I think I could do something with that one too. And right here is the start time. I'm going to... You get the point. Some people, if you just want to take the bass line out of that and make your own song out of it, this is in the way I would EQ it, but just to give you an example, I'd, I'd probably put a filter on and just keep on fiddling with it until you just heard the bass line. We can make a brand new start. All right, you get the point. That's a basic tutorial on how to throw a sample into Recycle 
have recycle chop it up throw it into the NXT and sample with reason 3.0 that's basically it if you have any questions hit me up at surflex10 at yahoo.com or if you want to work on this track because this is a good song for a mixtape throw some drums on it there's, there's a lot you can do with it hit me up at surflex10 at yahoo.com s-i-r-f-l-e-x-1-0 at yahoo.com alright